majority of students at EYCI are not aware of recycling their trash properly. For most students, we use whatever bin is the closest and just toss our garbage in and don't think much about it. But really, this has a huge impact to ourselves and the environment. Either students are lazy or they just don't know which bin it goes in, making us think that there must be a way to change our habits to make the school better. The more people who learn and try to recycle their waste properly, the easier it will be for us to improve. Some people don't realize that the garbage they're throwing away on a regular basis and is taken away by garbage trucks actually end up in landfills outside of our city. And the people who do, do know about them tend to ignore it because over time the garbage that we send away will start accumulating in the landfills and it will eventually run out of space. So we would have to build another landfill. But we are also running out of land to build these landfills on, which is why we need to start changing our habits and being more proactive with our waste management. As a grade 11 student at UICI, I'm not really aware of where I'm throwing my trash most of the time whether it's in the correct bin or somewhere outside because I don't really think about it as much. We see trash every day, we see a lot of it in the school and the hallways and you know, we just live with it because it's become such a normal thing now because everyone does it. Do you ever think before you throw out your garbage? Um, sometimes I'll look, sometimes I don't. No, I actually don't. I just um, throw it away and like don't care about it anymore. Yes, I think before I throw out my garbage, it's very important for the environment. Yes, I do. I try to recycle as much as possible. When I have wrappers for a candy bars or something, I I throw it out of my garbage or whatever. But there's the there's always the occasional uh, time when you're in a rush and then you forget to throw it out. You forget to throw it out in the wrong area. Sometimes. Most of the time, uh, it's just like a reflex when you throw piles in the Fifty percent? Ten percent is... Seventy-five? Maybe sixty percent? Because not everyone recycles properly, so a lot of recycle goes into the garbage. Seventy-five. Uh, sixty percent. Let's be real. As much less people start to reuse, reduce, and recycle, you are destroying habitats. The majority of you understand that nothing in this world lasts forever, including our environment. You might not take interest in recycling or what happens to the environment because it may not hurt you now, but once you're older, in 20 to 30 years, it will. The impact is on your children and grandchildren. As we are being affected right now, no one wants to see what our grandchildren and the future generations should go through. many hours a day are you in this school every day? You get it. So you get here if you're into uh, sports where you're here maybe at 7, 8 o'clock and you do something after school so you're here let's say 8 till 4 and you're 8 hours. You go home, dinner, watch TV, whatever, go to bed. So you're here for 8 hours, you're at home for 8 hours a week, then you go to sleep. So you're here half of your life span for these four years. Treat it the same way you do at home. I've said this many times to students and I've seen them do it. They walk by and they just throw their garbage on the floor. I'm saying to them, would you do that at home? They would say, no. I said, why not? But a couple of kids say to me, parents would kill me. Ta-da, no, I can't do that. 
I said, but if you don't do it at home, why are you doing it here? You spend half of your life for the next four years in this building. Like I see students running across the table sometimes. Now I've said to them, I said, you're the ones who got to eat out these tables after you've ran across them with your dirty shoes or boots or whatever. I said, I eat in my office, my desk is clean. I said, but you're the ones who are putting your food on these tables. So why are you running on the tables? Have a bit of respect for not so much me, not so much the school, for yourself. students are really reflective of exactly where the products go, what should go into. For example, just had a student today spit gum into the uh, recycling can then, right? And say, no, do not put that there, right? So it's not really so much uh, the student's fault or the school's fault or anything like that. It's just that students need to be taught it, right? Understand the importance of uh, recycling, environmental damage, understand why it's important and the long-lasting effect of it. Uh, I think students want to make a difference and they actually want to do things correctly. They just don't know how um, and don't necessarily have all the education that they need to recycle properly or put things in the organic bin correctly, but I think the intentions are good that students do want to, to help with this. And so I think they do care about the environment and they do think about it as an issue and they're very concerned about global warming. I think the biggest misconception is that teenagers don't care or students don't care, but I think they really do care and they probably care more than some adults. So I just think our actions need to match our intentions and if we all get educated that we can actually make a difference. Um, you know, with our waste management in the school. There's always like, there's always uh, posters around school telling you what kind of stuff to throw out. But that's really all the information we have. There's just those posters like uh, cans and wrappers and, and, and plastic cups. Now those, that's pretty much it. They've never really informed us that well. It. Okay, and do you pay attention to those posters? Yeah, sometimes you gotta, since it's like grapes at the garbage cans or the recycling bins, it's really easy to pay attention to them. I, I just certainly, I, I feel that they're not taking the time to tell us or to clar clarify what should be thrown and what should be thrown, how it should be organized. Do you know where um, drink straws go? Drink straws goes into the garbage. Yeah. Do you know where food scraps go? Compost. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where pizza paper bags go? Well, I'm pretty sure they go in the recycling, but a lot of people throw them in the garbage. Do you know where a pop can goes after it's been rinsed out? Powerbank, that's white revolution. No. Do you know where Tim Hortons cup goes? The garbage, I know that. Because and, uh, the inside is filled with wax. And what about an aluminum pie plate? Uh, aluminum pie plate, I think it's recyclable. Yep. Do you know where Tim Hortons cup goes? Garbage. And how about an aluminum pie plate? Uh, aluminum pie plate, recycling. When I went overseas, I noticed that this school's actions towards recycling is far better than things overseas because actually, uh, when I was in China, it would be quite wasteful. Lots of times students are just, there are no recycling cans. And if there are, there are no recycling trucks to pick them up. So, uh, the actions at the school is actually quite good. They're trying to make it more involved, make sure people are aware, so they are taking effort. And I do see blue bins everywhere, so it's good. So before teaching this course, would you say that you knew a lot about our waste management and where things go? Um, no, not as much as I know now. Um, 
I learned that it's that knowing about recycling and knowing where things go in our landfill system and it's a work in progress. We all have more to learn. So um, we can all improve and I know a lot more now than I did a few months ago. How would you compare the school's actions to waste management than it was in the past? Uh, well, I haven't been here um, for that long, but I'm really excited where the school is headed. Um, we've had a great eco club here for a while, but I'm excited there's an environmental science course now. Um, and I think that we have a real opportunity to get more people involved in terms of reducing, reusing, recycling. Um, we have a chance to grow eco club and to just do more new interesting things and get more and more students knowledgeable when they do use something and it needs to be disposed of where it actually goes and to take more care because it's actually easy. Once you know what to do, it's easy. It doesn't take any time. It's just the learning a little bit about where things go um, and you will be able to perfectly um, sort your waste so that we can recycle as much as possible and so our landfills don't grow um, beyond their capacity because in Toronto we're going to run out of landfill. By 2029, our current landfill, so we're going to have to buy another one, or we're going to have to start burning our garbage, um, which has all kinds of problems. So we um, want to use as little landfill as possible, use as little as possible, and recycle as much as we can. Would you say that our school is improving over the years, and compared to like other schools you've taught at? I definitely think East York has the potential to be the best school I've taught at, environmentally speaking. I think um, we have lots of energy here, um, students who want to make a difference, um, just students who need a little bit more knowledge and to cooperate more in our efforts um, so that we can um, all be pulling in the same direction and do what is easy, um, which is it is easy to recycle correctly as long as you know how to do it. And do you have any final words? Yes, East York, we can be the most environmentally friendly school in the entire TDSB if we all pull in the same direction. If we learn a little bit more about what's recycled, what goes to landfill, and we start using our green bins because they're coming here. And you do it at home, so you can do it here. Um, and we can divert more of our waste to recycling and composting, less to landfill, and we can make a difference.